Good morning, Jupiter. I'm Jason Dobular. And I'm Noah Milner. Today we've got your news for Friday, November 8th, 2019. Now before we get into the, uh, the announcements, we've got some breaking news. <laughs> we got a real Cinderella story here, folks. We are looking for the owner of this shoe. At the homecoming dance, this shoe was left behind near a very similar looking shoe. It happens, guys. It Mistakes happens. Happen. We are hoping the owner of this shoe has the left of a similar looking shoe so that the pairs can be together again and live happily ever after. So basically one person took home two right shoes, one person took home two left shoes. You know, so this, things happen, you this know. is a right shoe, right? And we need a left shoe. And we need a left shoe you to know, match this right shoe. We got kids walking around campus without shoes and we just, we can't right. be having They're saying, that. Where, where's my shoe? We have your shoe. We, we got but the shoes. But someone else has your other shoe. Of course, naturally. Yeah, naturally. So if, if you think you've got a similar shoe, you know, if you're not quite Wait, sure, I'm messing up please, the teleprompter. Okay, please, we're back. Just reach out to Jason and I. We're not getting sleep over this. It's been really, it's been an experience. It's been a long Ever time. since I heard this story, I knew that we had to bring it to air because it's been really bothering. We, we were fighting to get this on, and we got the time it needs. So please, and I'd do like to thank our producers who let us put this story more, on. I mean, it's really the true heroes. But be the hero yourself. Join the story. If you think you have a similar shoe, please reach out to Jason and I. We're begging. We're begging. Come personally up to us and be like, "Hey, shoe." And we'll say, shoe, shoe. or no shoe. It's going to happen. But uh, now, Jason, back to the regular news. Jupiter Police Department's COP and Teen Talk, NAMI, National Alliance on Mental Illness. We will be our guest speaker for the next meeting on November 13th at 3.15 p.m. They will have a suicide prevention presentation made specifically for teenagers at the Jupiter Community Center, 200 Military Trail, with pizza, snacks, and drinks. Class news to honor this year's 2019 Veterans Day Remembrance. The Jupiter Community High School JROTC Battalion participated in the Missing in America Project, funeral service at the South Florida National Cemetery. The purpose of the project is to locate, identify, and inter the unclaimed remains of American veterans. Our cadets helped provide honor and respect to those veterans who have served our country by securing a final resting place for these forgotten heroes. A special thank you to these outstanding cadets for all their support. Todd Garcia, Sean Creech, Daniel Calderon, Kale Howell, Madeline Howell, Kimberly Owens, Lucas Hughes, Daniel White, Dakota Williamson, and Jordan Dean. Congratulations, ELL honor roll students who were celebrated with a tropically themed lunch decorated by Mrs. Willis, our ELL facilitator. Dr. Ionetti, the ELL team, and we are all so proud of you. Jupiter High School Theater presents the lottery and adventures of Captain Needleman tonight and tomorrow at 7 p.m. in the Jupiter High School Auditorium. This is the last time I'm gonna tell you. I've been telling you all week, and if you didn't go last night, like I did, you better be going tonight or Saturday. Write it down in your hand somewhere. Jupiter High School Auditorium, 7 p.m. today or tomorrow. How much are those tickets, Jason? Those tickets, I'm glad you asked, Noah, because those tickets for general admission are $10. However, for you lucky kids with a JHS ID, it is only $5. And once again, so I'll keep our IDs on us, guys. We're on the clubs. Writing Club and Inkwell Literary Arts Magazine have a new remind. Everyone interested in working on Inkwell or being a member of the Writing Club, please text at Inkwell A to 81010. Our next meeting will be next week in room 5215. Do you want to make a difference in the environment? Come to the hashtag Unlitter Club's kickoff event. Hashtag Unlitter Our Beach. It's going to be at Carlin Park this Saturday at 10 a.m. Come to this beach cleanup for a great time, which will include free donuts, bagels, and more. Community service hours will be given as long as you bring your own community service sheet and a reusable cup for provided drinks. But you care about the environment after all. New members and guests are welcome and encouraged to come. If you would like to join, please tech, take out your phone. One of the few times you get to do this in school. And text at unlitterjh281010. We hope to see you all there. Beyond Breast Cancer is a new club here on campus. Our mission is to raise awareness of breast cancer and donate to the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Community service hours will be awarded throughout the year. Please come to the first informational meeting that will be held on Thursday, November 14th in room 7101 during lunch. Learn how to sign up for our main event race to the cure. DECA gobblegrams are on sale for $2 during lunch in the school store. Give your friends a little something extra to show you care and support a great cause. The Japanese club meets today after school in Coach Anderson's room 6115. Remember to bring money for your t-shirts. 
Please join JHS SWAT in the fight against vaping. Find them in the courtyard during lunch today and write a personal message on a postcard that says, I am not a lab rat. Sports, girls soccer, the team won their second preseason game on Wednesday against Martin County by a score of four to one. Ooh. Kate Bonneron and Marley Sater had assists. Bella Benavante scored twice, nice. once on a free kick and then on a cross from Cassandra Decca. Nice. Alexis Shea and Caroline O'Keefe also scored for the Warriors. Next week, they play on Monday versus Lakes, Tuesday versus rival Vero mm -hmm. Beach, and mm -hmm. Friday at Wellington. Come out and support your Lady Warriors. Now, do you want to save money? I want to save money. Do you want to support the Jupiter High School baseball team? You can bet that I want to support the Jupiter baseball team. Do you want to be a warrior? I want to be a warrior. I got something perfect for you. Purchase a coupon card from any baseball player. It's only $20. More importantly, this card pays for itself, people. Any questions, see Coach Mook in room 6215. Thank you, and go Warriors. Boys weightlifting, anyone interested in joining the team, there will be a meeting right after school on Wednesday, November 13th. We'll meet in room 10106, which is right next to the weightlifting room. Wrestling, on Monday, November 11th, wrestling season will begin. Even though there is no school, we will practice in the cafeteria at 2.30 p.m. until 6 p.m. Any new wrestlers must have their completed packets turned into Coach Raz in room 4109. We will practice Monday through Friday. ERA Preps MVP of Week 11 was our own quarterback, Jonathan Mosley, finishing his high school football career on the very highest note possible, his final stat line against South Fork. 419 passing yards, 5 passing touchdowns, 135 rushing yards, 4 touchdowns in regulation. ERA Prep could not recall any quarterback before Mosley having that kind of record-breaking performance. When Mosley spoke of his game against South Fork, which will surely go down as the best performance of the year in Palm Beach County, he said, It feels great, but I couldn't have done it without our amazing coaching staff, offensive line receivers, and defense. We bought into the program Coach Tharp had envisioned, and we made big leaps forward. Jonathan has four offers right now from Columbia, Davidson, Jacksonville, and St. Thomas. Congratulations, and thanks for the great ride. Finally, Veterans Day, observed annually on November 11th, is a tribute to military veterans who have served in the U.S. Armed Forces. Since we have off on Monday, we conclude today's news with a salute to our own warrior veterans. Thank you for your service, and of course, have a great weekend, warriors.